Welcome back to the Budgeting Sisters. I'm April, and today is Tiny Tuesday. I hope you all have had a great start to your week. We are coming in with $5 in dimes. We are going to see how much we can color in on the My Modern Homesteads Tiny Savings Challenges. Once again, we will roll the die and color in one picture and put in the amount of dimes that the dice tells us. Lilo's driving me crazy already. Let me just adjust my camera a little bit. All right. Grab some colored pencils. Ugh. All right. So, like I mentioned, these are from My Modern Homestead, and they are free, or they were when I got them. I think I saw somebody doing some 4th of July ones. I need to go over there and check out that. I love her channel, so if you don't already subscribe to her channel, go check her out. So we are going to color in two. I added my little Crayola twistables to my pencil container. So how's everybody's week going so far? I spent the weekend not doing much. I watched a couple seasons of a couple different shows on Netflix and did some one. Ooh, and this is the last one. Um, let me see. I watched a couple seasons. I watched a season of a couple different shows on Netflix. And then... I started some projects for the Budgeting Sisters, so that was exciting. All right, this one is done. So that's exciting. We aren't going to count this until my container is full, but I am having issues getting dimes. So, four. One, two, three, four. So I keep swapping out quarters for dimes and because I like using dimes in my videos. So we'll see. If we had kept with just dimes, it definitely would have taken longer. But that's all right. Any money saved is good with me. All right. One day at a time. Do you ever watch that show? Showing my age. I believe there used to be a show when I was a kid called One Day at a Time. Grateful every day. Five. One, two, three, four, five. So one of the 
things on my list to get done this summer why my dad is gone was to, to get rid of, it has nothing to do with my dad being gone. It's really just my summer list. I would have done it whether he was here or not. <laughs> and Lilo just, okay, keep walking, stop, lay down. Now I don't know if I put my two in. I'll put another two in just in case. Um, so when I bought my house, it had two direct TV dishes in the backyard. Not on the house or anything crazy like that. Just in a pole, on a pole, cemented into the ground. So I was finally able to figure out how to at least get the dishes done and off the poles. I don't know if I will ever get the poles out of the ground, but I have some ideas on maybe doing some plants or something along the poles. Um, but I got that done. Now I just got to take the dishes to the dump. So that's good. All right. We got Good Things Take Time is done. So, my goodness. Ooh, and this one's going to be done, too. Maybe I'm going to have to look today for about those 4th of July ones, since 4th of July is in two weeks. All right, you got to move a little. So, I got the Dish TV big circle things out. Got to bring them to the dump. But I also need to bring an outdoor rug to the dump. It like got all moldy and gross. I don't know what I didn't do to it to keep it fresh, but all right. Faith, hope, and love is done. So one, two, three, four. So probably why I am on vacation next week, there will be a big dump run in my future. Which works. In the state of South Carolina, you do not have to pay to bring your items to the dump, which is great because in Maine, I had to pay. And it was by weight for some things and by item for others. So that was always a pain and an expense that I didn't want to have to deal with. So here I just have to drive. Um, and it's only like... Oh, 15 minutes from my house for the dump, which is great. Five. Oh. Is anybody reading anything good this summer? I am currently reading First Ladies, and I really like it. Three. And we all know I have plenty of books to read after I'm done with this one. So the debt snowball, I feel, is going pretty good this month. Not as much as the last couple months, but that's to be expected. That's the thing with savings challenges. Some of them take a while to finish. And that's okay. So some months are bigger than other months. So we've got three. And I'm okay with that. 
I've got a couple bigger savings challenges that I'm working on. And one day at a time is done. Two, one, two. So I don't think I'm gonna see a huge change in debt balance this month, but that's okay. One, two. Although on my scratch offs, I've got one that I should be able to finish the next time, which is over a hundred dollars. So that will be amazing. Three. So we'll just put four in for this one. And color in the last heart for you are loved. And that one is done. So we have four with just one left on them. So I will definitely be finding some more to add to this for next week. I hope you enjoyed Tiny Tuesday. Five dollars here and there is adding up. Every little bit counts. Or as Mandy says, every dime counts. And it does. They add up. Small wins added together make a bigger win. A win is a win. Doesn't matter to me whether it is a dollar, five dollars, five hundred dollars. It is all progress in the right direction to get me out of debt. Keep going, Lilo. I hope you all have a blessed day and I will see you tomorrow for Sinking Fund Wednesday. Have a great day. Bye.